Right, approximately 19 hours GMT. Hello and welcome to the special edition of News 360 as TV3 celebrates 20 years of broadcast. My name is Gideon Aigwe. And my name is Gifty Bingley. I am Paul Adam Ochiri. And I'm Henry Habit, ma'am. Years ago, TV3's first news bulletin went live, touching lives and giving voice to the voiceless. And coming up tonight, News 360 Headlines is brought to you by TV3 celebrates 20 years of broadcasting excellence. Tonight, we take you back into time to bring you how it's all started and the stories that impacted lives. Also in the bulletin tonight, stakeholders in the media industry urge TV3 Network Limited to continue investing in technology to produce the best quality news. In other news, 54-year-old breast cancer survivor calls on women to have regular checkup. And elsewhere, at least 460 people injured as police use force to prevent voting in Catalonia's independence referendum. Right, so all these uh, sports and entertainment uh, coming up shortly. Please stay with us. News three. Now, board members, management and staff of Media General thronged the International Central Gospel Church at Christ Temple in Accra in a Thanksgiving service to kickstart a month-long 20th anniversary celebration of TV3 Network Limited. Today marks exactly 20 years of Ghana's first private free-to-air station which began transmission. The service was to thank God for sustaining the station over the years and to see God's favor as it begins a new phase to become a force on the African continent and beyond. Preaching the sermon on the theme, From Elijah to Elisha, the General Overseer of the ICGC, Pastor Mensa Otabil, encouraged Christians to identify their potentials for effective leadership. He lauded TV3 for being the conduit from which the church propagated the word of God. Executive pastor of the Christ Temple, Reverend Albert Okran, urged the staff and management to collectively strive harder to achieve goals set for the years ahead. Our prayer for you is that the years ahead will be filled with pleasantness, that your business will see growth, it will see increase and it will see progress. Later in an interaction, the founder and the general overseer of the International Central Gospel Church, Pastor Mensa Otabil, attributed TV3's achievements in its 20 years milestone to its resilience. I'm honored to be associated with the station. It was the first station to broadcast my messages on television. Uh, and so, so much of my life and my ministry is tied to what you represent. And I think the quality you have shown over the years is an example of what we need on our continent. And we trust that you take over this continent of Africa with uh, great uh, broadcasting programs. The group chief executive officer of Media General, Pell Insia Mensa, said the group is looking forward to redefine the broadcasting landscape through hard work and is poised to deliver more innovative programs. We have to tell our own story. We have to stop depending on the Western media telling our story so that we can speak to our people, we can say the right things. 
um, we can bring the right things into focus and help to make our continent the great continent that it should be. The anniversary is on the theme, reshaping news and creating stars in Ghana. From an Accra-based private television station in 1997, TV3 now provides the entire country quality content in its diverse programming. But this has been possible by the hard work and dedication of indigenous engineers, some of whom have stood with the company through it all. In the following report, we take you through the transmission journey so far. Here I am at Ebri, and the project you see right behind me is a transmitting site for TV3 network in Accra. The project started about a month ago. I asked the consultant, Mr. Adoyebu, if he thinks the project will be completed on schedule. Yes, the project will be completed on schedule. Following the successful setup of the transmission station at Ebri, residents of the greater Accra region and environs had the opportunity of enjoying the amazing content TV3 provided. We are talking about uh, a period when private television was not in existence in the country. A TV3 was the first to come up. And so you can see the feeling, you can imagine the, the years that are listening, you can imagine the eyes. And so the was, was quite tough. But we pressed on, and then we were able to uh, move up to this level. Soon, others across the country craved for it. Of the kind of programs that we were showing, because of the quality of transmission, quality of things that we were doing. The whole public, viewers, really bought into TV3. I remember one queen mother came from one of the regions to my office to say that, Maza, if you don't bring TV3 here today, I won't leave this office. And I was so proud to hear that. As of 2006, TV3's coverage had gone far. And then we added a uh, voter region to at least achieve the nationwide uh, transmission. Then the last phase was the digital migration. We began with analog equipment in our studios. So we have to now digitize our studios. Mr. Augustus Dixon hopes for the best as TV3 celebrates 20 years. I am so happy also to be part of this uh, celebration because of what I have seen, because of what I have gone through, and because of the fact that I am still alive to see TV3 20 years old. Viewers can be assured of nothing but the best in transmission in the coming years. TV3, Aiko. Stakeholders in the media industry have urged TV3 Network Limited to continue to invest in technology to produce the best quality news, not only in Ghana, but also in Africa and beyond. Good evening. Welcome to the major edition of TV3 The headlines, President Rawlings' advantage in response to rights. Some shareholders of the Ashanti Gulf World Company. The Minister of Health. Good evening and thanks for joining us. On TV3 is the leading commercial television station in Ghana with a strong news and entertainment presence. To lead in this industry requires vision, innovation and investing in the right technology. After launching the first digital OB van, the station further... ...screen in broadcasting in Ghana. Looking at the dollar against the city still having an effect on all the four major trading currencies. Quickly, let's look at how the dollar is trading. It's exciting to watch TV3, to see all the graphic illustrations that they bring to bear on news and current affairs, which enhance the credibility of the material. You focus on your customers and you make sure that your programming and your services match their needs and if you like their wants or desires. 
not only that you've looked at competition, but even though you see yourself as leading, you always look back and see what competition is doing and how far you can go so they do not catch up with you. I congratulate uh, TV3 for its 20th uh, anniversary and I wish them uh, all uh, success in the, in the next years to come. We've had the opportunity of working with TV3 over the past 20 years and indeed it is one of the stations that have done very well when it comes to business coverage. Issues of business is of critical importance to industrial players and business organizations like us. And any time we call upon them, they come cover our news and actually cover it very well. In 2016, in its bid to change television experience in Ghana and to meet international standards, a new modern studio was launched. The sprawling and interactive setup was equipped with giant screens and suave software that facilitated comprehensive coverage of the 2016 elections. Uh, the TV3's election coverage is something that ought to be commended as well. As the station marks its 20th anniversary, TV3 will continue to churn out new innovation with a high sense of professionalism and service excellence from both journalists and management. TV3 at 20, reshaping news and creating stars. And for the past 20 years, TV3 has churned out innovative news stories, making an impact not only on communities, but also the entire nation. Stakeholders want the station to continue to be the focal point of news discussions and analysis in Ghana and beyond. Since its inception, TV3 has been a force to reckon with in the media industry. Discerning viewers would always wait for a news item by TV3 to confirm breaking news or rumors from unofficial sources. He said the government cannot sit while some group of contractors cheat on the system. And if this side of the building is supposed to be the way it's supposed to be, because every other place is looking fine, but I can see this place is looking kind of rough. If that's part of the design, I don't think I've seen this anywhere. <laughs> so I think the contractor should finish the job. The desire of TV3 to address the needs of the socially excluded won the admiration of many Ghanaians, earning the tagline of first in news. But if you want it as a guard, then it has to be a huge dog which can bark like Elsa does. Opening of Parliament in January. It's possible a good number of people may have perished on this road. Most stories changed the lives of communities, compelling duty bearers to bring about change and improve the livelihood of the marginalized in the society since they influenced national policy. Industry players could always rely on TV3 to advocate for the needed change they always desired. So innovations like Agenda, for example, that TV3 um, had, where it focused on current news programs, is something that ought to be commended because it deepened the news beyond what would have been covered before. The modern newsroom that um, TV3 has uh, also is one that uh, I can say has helped to show that Ghanaian newsrooms are, are also of international standards. TV3 has so brilliantly transited into a combination of entertainment and great quality content, uh, current affairs programming. Your election coverage was particularly insightful in the end fair. And uh, we believe that the kind of programming going on on TV3 is the kind of television that an emerging democracy in Africa needs. It is a station that every Ghanaian must be very proud of and for which the National Media Commission is very proud. As the station marks its 20th anniversary, it will continue to lead the agenda for evidence-based reportage that will instigate change in society. 
With its tagline, first in news, best in entertainment, TV3 Network Ghana Limited always focused its lenses on development issues. Let's take a look at some of the stories that have impacted lives positively through our reportage over the last 20 years. Good evening. Welcome to the maiden edition of the TV3 Evening News. In the headlines, a special task force to investigate allegations of malpractices in the award of building contracts. The Minister of Communications... With its tagline, first in news, best in entertainment, TV3 Ghana established itself from the onset of its broadcast on October 1 as the most watched free-to-air television station in Ghana. Achieving 65% nationwide penetration at the end of 2006 through determination, innovation and hard work, TV3 has maintained its leadership in news and entertainment and remains the authentic voice in news broadcasting in Ghana. With the aim of being the best media station in Africa and beyond, TV3 Network has survived the storms of broadcasting endowed with commanding sense of professionalism, optimum use of technology and cutting-edge world-class television content TV3 Network pulled the chestnut out of the blazing fire and swept away her competitors. TV3 Network has always focused its lenses on development issues. Prominent amongst them are reports on siblings in the Upper West region of Ghana battling with a rare skin disease from birth. Also, class 3 pupils at the Tungobio Primary School in the Talensi district of the Upper East region of Ghana who took turns to use the only available desk in class received assistance from World Vision Ghana, providing them with 95 dual desks estimated at 7,600 Ghana cities. Pupils of Atampisi DA Primary School in the Upper East region received donations of stationery by two philanthropists, while other benevolent organizations and individuals touched by the plight of these pupils donated cash for the purchasing of 40 dual desks for kindergarten one and two pupils. Wow. <laughs> Those were the days, right? <laughs> memories, memories, memories. I remember, Paul, I, I was looking up to you whilst at home. <laughs> because you guys started in 97, right? Yeah, something yes, like and that. Yes, we joined in in 99. It's a very yes. long time ago. And I isn't look it? at Paul, I think it started somewhere from Metro TV, right? No, no, no. I actually came here first. I, I was doing radio and uh, I came here to do uh, football, mm. the 1998 France World Cup. And so after the World Cup, uh, Mr. Befia Pintin asked whether I would like to read the news. and. I said, well, yeah, why not? So I, I started. It was, it was, it was a, a great time. We enjoyed it. Issa was here. Uh, we were talking to Amanda Day, who is on Skype, who was here. Emma Morrison was here. Emma and Setando was here. Was here. Yeah. And I was a small boy among, the, among lady, the group. What's her name again? Setando. Uh, uh, Emma Morrison. Charity. Amanda Charity. 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 Yeah, Charity. Charity. was here as well. Yeah. Oh, she joined you later. Yes. But because I was a, the youngest, I got to read most of the 1030 uh, bulletins. In those days, they paid us by <laughs> Nobody the Nobody likes that. I suppose he doesn't mean that's a punishment. <laughs> no, nobody liked the 1030, but they paid us by <laughs> how, how, like how many bullets. Those of us who were not regular staff, they paid us by how many bulletins you read. Right. So by, at the end of the month, I had gathered quite a lot of 1030s. <laughs> and as a student at the university, so you can imagine, Gideon, you understand these things. Mm. You can imagine. But it quite smoothly for you, though. 1030 yeah. really got us all, you know, mm. into the session. Yeah, that was absolutely. where you actually cut your mark. You know, mm. you took your time, warmed yourself up into the, the main... And, 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 and it, you also it became more familiar with global news and the sure, rest, because it was, it was sort of like and world news. Strange news. Yeah, so was news. See, I said I panicked on my first day. Yeah. <laughs> What I saw on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Years back, right? <laughs> that was yeah. interesting. You, know, you also came with Israel.
later. Yeah, but yeah. I think you and Israel were the stars of the event. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Amma, can Amma, Amma, can you see, can you see me? Oh, Amma, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. So this is Paul Adamotri, your small boy, younger brother that you read the news with. <laughs> 20 years ago here in TV3. How are you doing, Amma? How are you? How are you? My God, I can't believe it's been 20 years already. Absolutely, 20 years. Everyone can see you in Ghana and they want to know uh, what's your message for TV3? How did you get in in the first place? Ah, oh, amazing. I, um, I was working with, um, at the time, that was the Sunshine Radio, which is now known as Choice FM. And uh, um, the TV3 started, I think they were looking for people, and I think my name was given to somebody. I think they said there's some brother, same girl that's working on a choice on sun, uh, Sunshine Radio, so maybe you should give her a look. And I had a call, and uh, I went to TV three, and I was immediately, I was immediately taken. Um, I think I, was it was it. Uh, um, I've even forgotten the name of our, our of our pioneer our pioneer ma uh, uh, managers, Azam, and uh, we were taken through. I was taken immediately. I was asked to do a few things for them to say a few things. And then I was taken on a training course, and I think it was myself, Emma Morrison, and uh, Charity Aqua, and Issa Money. We were in the first training course before uh, TV3 opened. That was in, uh, well, 20 years ago, yeah. <laughs> okay, so perhaps you're referring to Mr. Befia Pintin, or Azimi Atan, or Herman Nathan. Azimi Atan, Az yeah, Azimi Atan with um, some, with some um, heads from Malaysia. And uh, the head that came from Malaysia, with um, Azmiatan was amongst them, and um, um, that's when I was interviewed. And then when I actually started working, then Azmiatan had then relocated to Ghana, and uh, Mr. Bevia Pinting was also made the manager of the studio of the station those days. Yes. Let's talk about your fond memories because uh, we used to work very hard in those days, and it was a new area. This was the first private. Uh, television other than Ghana television and you That's also right. divided the society a lot of the young people were fascinated by your abrofusem and uh, the old people thought what's this British accent on Ghanaian TV what's your fond memories Amma? Oh it was an amazing time you know uh, it, it, those days it was either you loved me or you hated me and I remember I, I actually remember there was an article I think in one of the in a, a few of the newspapers do you remember those days they used to talk about Lafa the locally acquired foreign accent and um at the time, they thought I was Lafa, and it wasn't until they realized that I was actually born and raised outside. And um, my colleagues, my, my teammates, uh, Emma Morrison and um, Gabriel Busson Pim, and um, oh, Osei, very, very naughty Osei, they used to uh, give me the wrong information, you know, like uh, when, I was when I was preparing in the day, you know, in the daytime, we do our voiceovers and we prepare to get ready and read. And I would ask them names. I remember, I remember fondly, there was um, the name uh, Fachi. I was doing a story about a Mr. Fachi. And um, coming from London, I had never seen K-Y-E. And um, I, I didn't know how to pronounce it. So I asked Gabriel and I asked, uh, you know, or say that, how do I pronounce this name? And they said, oh, Fakihi. <laughs> you know, it's pronounced, you can't pronounce Mr. Fakihi. Can you imagine? I was so embarrassed. I mean, next day, I think Ghana wanted to kill me, you know. So those are some of the fun memories. I mean, in the newsroom, when I came down, they were on their, I mean, they were holding their stomachs, laughing their heads. So these are some of the naughty things that they used to do, and they used to take advantage. But uh, very, very fun memories. But they can't get me like that now. If I was to come back now, they couldn't get me like that now. <laughs> what, what can you uh, say about how TV3 has impacted this television industry? Because, you know, after TV3, there were many others. There was Metro TV, and there are now there are 19 or so television stations. And you've been in Ghana recently. I, I, I spoke to you when you were in Ghana recently, and you've looked at the industry. Uh, so how do you see it? How has TV3's effort impacted the industry? I think TV3 has actually started a whole new phenomenon of media in Ghana. You know, before TV3 came, as you said, you know, there was only um, GBC at the time. And also, we also didn't have all the, you know, never mind about the, the, the free TV stations. We also didn't have the paid TV stations. So even though multi-choice and those uh, was around at the time, not many people were subscribing. So TV3, I think at the time, you know, they came with telenovela programs. And, um, you know, they came and um, they, they, started, they started reporting about things that hadn't reported, been, been reported before. You know, and it was just this amazing phenomenon. 
And I think that um, they are definitely the leaders. You know, they were the leaders of the new era of media in Ghana. And not only that, but also, you know, globally, you know, 20 years ago, we couldn't have done this. I mean, I'm sitting right now in London. You know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm on holiday at the moment in London and I'm sitting here and I'm speaking to you live in Ghana. We couldn't have done this 20 years ago. And um, again, um, it shows um, uh, just how TV3 are always the leaders. You know, globally, I've been looking at some of the messages that are coming through. People are watching from uh, Ohio. People are watching from Atlanta, from Germany. I'm, I'm talking to you from London. I mean, it's amazing. And to think that TV3 started all of this. And, uh, you know, before the, no the telenovela came, there was nothing like that. We didn't see anything from any other countries. We didn't see programs from other countries. All that we saw those days were documentaries. Documentaries, and I think um, we only saw Skippy. I think in those days, GBC was showing things like Skippy and things like that. So for, for TV3 to come now and bring telenovela and to even have a presenter like myself, that even though I am full Ghanaian, somebody, uh, you know, a, a citizen that was being, that has been born and raised outside, I think that's something that TV, that GBC wouldn't have encouraged uh, 20 years ago. They may do so now, but they certainly would never encourage it 20 years ago. But TV3 um, uh, encouraged uh, someone like myself, um, a, boy, a, a Ghanaian that's been born and brought outside, and didn't see anything wrong with, with me actually contributing to the media in Ghana, which is amazing. And they, they just keep setting new standards and they've done an amazing job. And um, I want to congratulate TV3 and they've done, they've done amazing. They're wonderful, they are the leaders and will always be the leaders. And um, I think the whole media industry in Ghana should be very grateful to them for their bold steps. We also have a lot of freedom of speech and I think all these new innovations and these new attitudes towards media and towards um, media personalities, etc., was all started by TV3. And um, I think we we have to accept that and um, own up to that and be thankful for that. Thank you very much, Ama. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, happy 20th anniversary from all of us here in Ghana. Happy 20th anniversary that what uh, Ama Dade, yeah, that she's raising her hands there and giving us uh, the big high five. So um, she talked about telenovela, and I remember Acapulco. 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 And there was a power crisis in those days, Isa, you remember? Sure. And Acapulco was such a big deal that people used to turn up from Tema yeah. to TV3 sure. offices yeah. to want to see it because lights had gone off and they used to come all the way from Tema and yeah. Gabriel was asked to do a story about it so he filmed this people and we had a news item mm -hmm. on it I remember Issa read the news that time people had turned up in TV3 to watch Acapulco Bay that I was phenomenal Issa. Mm -hmm. Issa perhaps you are the man I mean you are still yeah, in the seat he, he's, all of us yeah. here have, have managed we all left we are always been in the seat exited, why, why are you still in the seat Issa? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, surprisingly, when you were interviewing Ama, she mentioned my name. Yeah. It was Ama who leaked the information to me. TV3 was looking for people who could read the news. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> That's That's true. True. Oh. So she gave me the information, and I followed it up. And uh, well, we were picked. She read the first news, and I read the second one that very day. So. Mm -hmm. I, I always say, day. yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, so, but, but so what, what when you when Israel used to come to the studio, I didn't know you were spying on me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, been on, <laughs> but what, what has kept you 20 it's, years? It's, it's, it's the passion, the love to do it to perfection, wanting to do it better than I do now. That is what is keeping me going. And you've done amazingly well. <laughs> well, I sometimes look back and I see people like you and I say, yes, I still have gifted English. She's still in the middle. She hasn't left. She's just doing something separate. She could come back any time. <laughs> Gideon is always looking as young as ever, even though you can see some gray hair. Oh my He's still looking oh my fresh. I'm an old and I love to see Paul on Metro TV on, you know, uh, Good Evening Good Ghana. Ghana. It's, fun, it's a fantastic but program. I think, I think, I think, think you guys did a good job. I mean, uh, you started yeah. more and some of us, you know, decided to also, to also join. I think mm. uh, you, you did a good job. Henry, being Henry, but Henry, Henry do, you, do you miss the kind of stories yes. that you used to do? Ah. Um, I remember them so well. <laughs> I do. I mean, it's more like <laughs> part of me now, my DNA. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 never, you never would want to, to, to just drop your gun at no. any point in time. No. You would. You would always you know, feel like... I mean, Gipsy, I think that this, I, mean, I, I cannot time. finish my story, Mr. Blafia Pinti. I mean, the opportunity he gave me was, yeah. was shocking. I mean, we came here to do sports. The World Cup was over. He called me and said, would you like to read news? I, it never ever crossed my mind. 
and he said, go and see Azmi Atan, and, and there he was. So I'd like to use the opportunity to be very grateful to him, eternally grateful. And Just like and that, that. That really, that, just like that. No auditioning, nothing. Nothing. And he said, I saw you on the World Cup. If you want to read the news, go and see Azmi Atan. He'll give you something to read if you do well. You see, you're a living <laughs> legend. <laughs> <laughs> and it took people like Bayfield right. to identify these <laughs> talents, small and insignificant as we were. <laughs> okay. All right, Henry. Okay, we're well, still shooting ahead for 20 years. TV3 has given viewers well researched, in depth, and analyzed stories, very current news on current affairs as well. But uh, various people have played significant roles in this milestone as managing news editors. <laughs> Welcome to the TV3 News Update. I'm Seth Tandong. I am Emma Morrison. I am Issa Moni. I am Charity Up. On October 1, 1997, television competition took a new trend. The face of private television in Ghana totally changed. And it came with a bang. With a tagline, the first news best in entertainment, the news was rich. With the likes of Ralph Sasse as producers, the first news bulletin cannot be forgotten. By the time we were ready for news, six o'clock, we were in the studio. Then we were just beginning the time. So when the time was due for studio and we were on air, the montage road, come and see, everybody was quiet in the studio. And then we were on air. Then came the news. Good evening. Welcome to the maiden edition of the TV3 Evening News. In the headlines, a special task force to investigate allegations of malpractices in the award of building contracts. The Minister of Communications, Echo Spio Gabra, congratulates TV3 on the occasion of the commencement of its transmission. Amadadi was the first face of TV3 News. The likes of Setando, Charity Aqua, Emma Morrison, Abu Isamoni and many held the nation bound with not just eloquence but rich and authentic news from across the country. It's possible a good number of people may have perished on this road. A fortnight ago when I visited the site, nothing much had been done. Even this fence wall had not been erected. But as you can see, there's been a lot of progress since then. TV3 has come to bring in more professionalism because at the beginning, we were told, the pioneering staff were told in the newsroom that TV3 News had no competitor in Ghana, but our competitors are BBC News for the content and CNN for the look and feel. People like New Love, Mamata, Osei Boache, Emma Morrison, Robert Chwe, Beatrice Champoma, Abraham Masari and Matilda Haynes held on to the standards ensuring TV3 News evolved to conform to the growing trends in form, look and feel, as well as the rich content. Right, you're watching News 360 and we'll be right back with some more stories. Thank you for staying with us. Well, let's do some Sunday business now. Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Art has broken grounds for the establishment of a smoke factory in Gushego. The initiative is to complement government's one district, one factory policy. Gushego is one of the 26 administrative and the third largest district in the northern region. It has a population of more than 100,000 and underdeveloped. Apart from subsistence farming, smoke weaving is the alternative choice of business for residents. High cost of production coupled with poor sales have taken a toll on the smoke industry. 
government through the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts has initiated moves to revive the smoke industry in anticipation of creating jobs for more than 1,000 youth in the Eastern Corridor, which include nine administrative districts. As part of the move, the ministry in partnership with traditional authorities have broken ground for the establishment of a smoke factory in the area. The factory, which will be done through a public-private partnership agreement, is expected to be completed within a year. Ways to be produced are targeted at earning foreign exchange for the country. Deputy Minister of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, Ziblim Idi, who doubles as the Member of Parliament for Gushegu affirmed government, will also consider subsidizing materials for private individual weavers. We are going to upgrade their skills you know, by bringing in training skills that will really make the smoke standard for international markets. What government normally will do is to look at the cost component of a smoke and see areas that government can subsidize. He also highlighted some marketing strategies when the factory is operationalized. We are going to get people coming in here, uh, not just Ghanaians but foreigners, first to learn how to weave uh, and then to learn how to sew uh, so that they can take it out, so that smoke makes... The people. And the situation is this is assembly in the Ashanti region is partnering a private company ND Eco Limited to establish a $50 million animal husbandry for the production of meat, milk, leather, and other products. The projects will be implemented under the government's flagship industrialization initiative that one district, one factory. CEO of the company. Eugene Nyako Dankwa told TV3 infrastructure construction will take off in December 2017. He said about 20,000 cattle will be brought in to start the project, including an initial amount of 50 million US dollars to be secured by November. He explained the factory will serve a multi purpose tax of exploring opportunities in cattle rearing value chain. First, we all know, first we'll, we'll tackle the beef, um, we'll be producing milk as well, and also We'll be doing we'll be having a tanning factory which will be producing leathers and also we'll be doing um, a biogas we'll build a biogas plant because we'll make sure that the feces of the cattle will not go to waste the paramount chief of asokori professor nana susubribi krobia asante handed over a 150 acre land to the central east district assembly for the project we hope it will be a source of employment a source of industrial activity and a source of general upliftment of the district. District Chief Executive Mary Boatema Mafo said the project is in fulfillment of government's promise of implementing the One District, One Factory policy. To allay the fears of crop farmers in the district, the DCE emphasized the cattle will be kept in fences to prevent them from straying. She added, the district is also considering partnering the private sector to establish a palm oil and banana processing factory trees in the area. As part of the project, a farm will be started to harvest food for the animals while employment is created for hundreds of residents in the Central East District. Still doing business, the Forestry Commission has budgeted an amount of 72 million cities for tree planting exercise after reclamation of mining sites across the country. On a visit to the Canada, Ghana, Alaska Mining Company in the central region, Chief Executive of the Forestry Commission, Kucho Owusu Afriye, said the exercise will employ 24,000 youth. The country's land space is estimated at about 230,000 square kilometers. Out of this, between 50,000 and 60,000 square kilometers, representing 1.5%, is reportedly degraded by either illegal mining or other unhealthy environmental practices. As part of government's multilateral mining integrated program, 50 million US dollars has been budgeted to reclaim degraded land, dredge silted estuaries and waterways, and free land for agribusiness. Huge sums of money is involved, and that is what scares most mining companies away from reclamation but of course there are some few mining companies out there who are always ready to conduct reclamation no matter the amount involved 
chief executive of the Forestry Commission, Kojo Osu Efriye, led a team of experts to inspect the Canada Ghana Alaska Mining Company concession at Amenasi Forest Reserve near Diaso in the central region. Reclamation of the land started in June this year, and so far, 50 acres have been covered. Kojo Osu FVA commended concession owners Canada Ghana Alaska Mining Company for adhering to government directive for all mining firms to reclaim land after mining. It's important that we get companies like this to undertake the, this kind of work that, that, that they're doing. This is one of the best you know, practices that yeah. we should you know, encourage. And I think we will uh, go sit down and recommend that to the Forestry Commission and to the Minister and to perhaps government in that land. In collaboration with the Youth Employment Agency and the Ministry of Employment, the Commission will engage some youth across the country for the tree planting exercise. He explained part of the money has already been secured. From January, the nursery is going to begin and that by three months, four months time, we'll buy them and then just go back and replant. Uh, we are looking for money from, from government so far, we've gotten something, and then we are going to begin from next week. He advised all mining firms to also learn from the Canada Ghana Alaska Mining Company. And that's it for business. <laughs> okay. And how does he feel if you ah. say that's it for business? I remember that line so well. Ah, sure, sure, honestly. Well, it's been quite about four years now since I've been awake. But standing here today, honestly, it feels like yesterday. <laughs> I just don't feel like I took a break at all, mm -hmm. you know. So you've been away for four years? It's been four years Gideon, now. how long have you yeah. been away? Um, since 2009. Mm. I left in 2010. Mm. 99. Okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> it still flows, right? That's great. So continue now. I also think that we, we, we have to uh, mention some of our colleagues, you know, some of those in the back. Uh, Shandoff? Yes. 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 Okay. Kondos, Kondo. There are two of the Shandoffs, eh? Yes. There are two of them. Um, the studio directors yeah? from the Josiah, Shandoff. Jonathan. We have uh, seen um, Ralph Sassi on and I have, in the story. And I have Ralph Sassi to thank for what I am today as yes. far as Ralph is concerned. Yes. yes, he held and my hands. Right. He taught me what to do. He really encouraged me. I, I also think Ralph. that we have to mention uh, <laughs> Nana Banamoa, who sure. was here for a very long time. Sure. Emma Morrison. Okay. Yeah, they, they give to you know them. I, I had left, but they were here. Yes. And my, um, my friend Ian Pofuankra, I mean, I had a very... Yeah. Marianne, yeah. Marianne Akolache. Marianne Akolache, but my bond with Ian Pofuankra started from here. Okay. You know, we're great friends. He was on Sports Station, I was on News, where the small boys and do other naughty things in yeah, those days. We, we, we yeah, yeah, and and now we have grown. We can also mention those who make us beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thelma. Thelma. When I walked in here and I saw Thelma, I know, she's been here for 20 I know, years. I know. And she hasn't changed she, she did she my first makeup. She oh, and she's wow. not grown yeah. any bit. And she's telling, still here. I was here. telling my daughters with whom I came here that Thelma has been doing makeup yeah. for us for that yeah. long. Yeah. Well, and, and Nat as well. Yeah. Let, let's not forget yeah. to pay tribute to Ike, Isaac Agbanu. Oh, oh, yes, I went with the guy in the nice oh, suit. Oh, yeah. oh. Yes, 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 him. I remember him very well as well. Okay, now moving on to other stories. 54-year-old Ashetu Inusa, a breast cancer survivor, is calling on women to have constant checkups on their breasts. Surviving a breast cancer operation for the past two and a half years, she believes opting for the operation was the best decision she ever took. As Ghana joins the world to mark the month October as Breast Cancer Awareness Day, we bring you the story of a survivor. 54-year-old Aishetu Inusa has been living at Apemkwa in the Greater Accra region since she got married to her late husband three years ago. She tells us she noticed a lump in her breast barely five months into marriage. Her late husband, whom she says was very supportive, encouraged her through all the three months process at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital before her left breast was finally removed. <laughs> It's been two years since she had the operation and has since been on medication. Though she sometimes feels tired intermittently while doing some chores, after the operation, she believes it was the best decision she took. I'm very happy I took that decision. I would have lost my life. She expressed worry about the alarming rates of breast cancer cases in Ghana. 
hence calling on all women to have constant checks. It's a very dangerous disease and must be taken very serious. Her daughter, Ramatu Umar, and only surviving relative, says she was shocked when she found out about her mother's condition after it was hidden from her several months, but she was also glad she did it. I'm happy because um, that sickness is very dangerous and when it lasts long in you, it may kill you. Breast cancer starts when cells in the breast begin to grow out of control. These cells usually form a tumor that can often be seen on an x-ray or felt as a lump. According to the World Health Organization, 95% of breast cancers are curable if only detected early. The disease is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in Ghana. 2,900 cases are diagnosed annually and at least one of eight women with the disease die. There's a general perception that breast cancer affects women 40 years and older. But the fact is, young women are being diagnosed in their teens, 20s and 30s. Well, this is News 360. And when we return, we will reunite Paul Admortry with one of his early passions as a broadcast journalist. He will do the sports news after the break. And in sports this evening, Accra has a folk, the former African champions, I should say, are on the verge of ending their 17-year FA Cup trophy drought after beating Wild Stars 2-1 at the Lenclay Stadium. A goal from Razak, Patrick Razak and Kwame Kizito saw the Phobians cruise to the finals of the competition despite Atamensa pulling one back for Wa All Stars. Nutel's men will await the winner of the Kotoko versus Midyama game as opponent in the final. And now results from the EPL or after the weekend games are as follows. Huddersfield 0, Tottenham 4. Bournemouth 0, Leicester City 0. Glorious Man United 4, Crystal Palace 0. Stoke City 2, Southampton 1. West Bromwich Albion 2, Watford 2. One Swansea nil, Chelsea nil, Manchester City 1. Arsenal 2. Albion nil, that's what we've just showed you. Everton also got beaten by Burnley, one go to nil. Newcastle and Liverpool settled for a one all draw. So that's it for sports and this edition of the news. Uh, that was nice, Isa. Sports. <laughs> yes, I, I mean, the, I mean the, the editor was worried behind the camera when I edited <laughs> the results and said, Glorious Man. Glorious, I, I was wondering when you didn't like that. that word attached to the name like Glorious. That, you know, because, I mean, like, seriously? Yeah, yeah so, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> but, Paul, you haven't been away from this. I wonder why you were, like, taking time to mention the names of the year from me. Uh, yeah, because you're... I'm not too from the prompter. No, but you still, you still yeah. follow sports. I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, but... You're passionate about it. Reading from the prompter it. was kind of difficult, yeah. you see. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're on News 360. And what happened is entertainment news. Yeah. Let's see what's on the TV tonight. Entertainment news is brought to you by... And entertainment tonight, when was the last time you were Best entertainment has been one of our core Mondays. Here are highlights of some of the best moments. 
Mentor is one of the reality shows which got a lot of viewers talking and setting the stage for a lot more reality shows. The show and Earth stars whose singing was everything to write home about. The very first edition started with the likes of Andy, aka Odakidi, Prince Nanatufo, popularly known as 9924, Hakim, Ruth and others. <laughs> interesting was the regional affiliations and theme songs that accompanied each group. of baggy jeans and oversized shirts were lived on the show in what is termed in recent times as when we were we. <laughs> definitely added some excitement to Sunday evening relaxation across the country. Mentor makes you good. <laughs> I remember that so well. So well. All right, so <laughs> that's it for the, uh, the special edition. Right. Yeah, this is one hour. Through the door. Probably he'll be back. Okay. But it's been good, guys. Yeah, I yes, it has. It has. Yeah, it's it's been amazing. Yeah, you've been told that you don't, you don't mention Kudo's name. Um, <laughs> God knows Kudo, Babina <laughs> Finn, Walker, Jonathan, um, Beatrice Ajemang, yeah. oh, all of them. Thelma, Thelma, Samar. I mean, she does. Years. 20 she years, she does awesome makeup. Awesome makeup. Hey, awesome awesome makeup. Well, those, those names have been mentioned already, but I think you should do that. Or say, and Robert. Robert, Robert, Robert. Robert. Nice. Gabriel, nice. Gabriel right. Bosom Pim, Obi Wan, Obi Wan, Uncle Ralph. Uncle Ralph gave me my first opportunity. <laughs> oh, yeah, so. Uncle Ralph, thank you so much.